It's not Mink and Chin, Goji. <sighs> Do you even work here? Cause you don't... <gasps> Oh, hi! The crazy kaiju here. And we're going to take a look at the Mecha Shin Godzilla. Yay! First, the package. Front, back, and bottom. Now, let's take him out of his jail cell and take a full 360 looky looky. Before I get into my pros and cons or my woulda, coulda, shoulda, let's take a closer look at this homie for what it is. Okay? He stands at six and a half inches from head to toe and about seven and a half inches from tail to floor. His articulation is similar to other Mecha figures as you see here. Now for size comparison. Here with the Sega Shin on its base. Bandai Movie Monster. SH Monster Arts and the Monster King. Okay. Now for my thoughts. Bing! The majority of the detail and sculpt is great. The overall paint was applied well. So some of my nitpicks most of you can relate to. I'll start small and work my way up. On this figure, a certain lack of paint on one of his thighs and his peach puzz color on the end of his tail. But that's an easy fix. Some peeps might think the dorsal fins are a little too red, but I like it. Notice no extra toenails on his feet? Looks like certain part of his teeth could have used some more paint. Now his head sculpt seems off. As I look at it closely, his bottom jaw is just a tad too long and it's too skinny here. Look like this area is too large or exposed. To me, he looks the best when his head is pushed back and down. The best pose I see is straight on. A big issue is his tail. The gaps are a slight eyesore. But my biggest issue is the tail area here. Too heavy and loose. It flops over consistently. I might have to glue seal this area. Maybe this area also. Overall, a good figure for its price. If you don't have the SH Monster Arts due to its price, then this NECA is a way to go. Hey, buy three and color the second one purple and the third in frozen mode. Still cheaper than one SH Monster Arts. So, a recap. Great detail sculpt. Color applications mostly done very nicely. And you can't really beat the price. But... The face dimensions look off. I would have liked the first prototype. Yeah, looks way bigger, but look at that face! Or, wish they would have used the design head sculpt of the NECA 54. And wish it was a little taller too. The loose tail. Don't know if all NECA shins are like this. But this uncontrolled flapping tail. Kind of grinds my teeth. But again. It could be altered somehow. 
Thanks for watching and have a good day.